Have you ever wondered, hey, you hope all is well real quick. This is your girl, Charlie, your life insurance life coach. Have you ever wondered when is the best time to protect your family with life insurance? Glad you asked. I want to share with you real quick. You have different life insurance. You have whole life insurance and you have term insurance. And you say, well, what is the difference, Charlie? Well, usually people will get a term policy. Term policy is just like your auto insurance. It's only for a certain amount of time, right? And then it cancels. But why it cancels is because during that time, you may have had some accidents, right? And if that's the case, what the insurance company is gonna do, they, ra they may raise your premium, right? So it's the same thing when you have term insurance. That term insurance is usually going to last you for approximately 30 years, right? And they usually, they, they go with the numbers because the numbers don't lie. The younger you are, the more the insurance company is willing to bet that you're going to outlive that 30-year policy. Remember, the insurance company is not in the business to pay the insurance, but they will just in case. That's why they have a lot of, they ask you a lot of questions in, about your family history, health history, as well as your health history, right? When did your parents pass away? Or are they still living? Did they um, have these uh, different illnesses? And what age did that happen? Because that's your bloodline, right? So it's the same thing. So they are willing to give you a term policy because you're more than likely are in the best health that you're going to be at that time. And usually you want to use term policy while you are raising your children. It's, it's really, it's very affordable. You can, you can obtain a lot of coverage for a small premium, right? That's what term policy, that's what term insurance is good for. Term insurance is really good for young families that's raising kids that have a mortgage, 30 year mortgage and putting kids through college, college. And just in case something gets interrupted, you have a death benefit that's gonna allow your family to access that, to allow your family to continue with the plans that you and your spouse had planned for them. Or even if you're single, right? Whole life. Well, you, most of the time you find people who purchase a whole life policy, they're probably up in age, don't need a lot of coverage. They just looking for something to bury their loved one with, right? They don't need a lot of coverage. Possibly they've already paid off the home. The kids have already gone through school. And so they don't need a whole lot. The great thing about whole life is, is that once it's like set it and forget it. Once you get that whole life policy, the premium would never change, right? It will stay the same. So it's also based on your health, what type of health you have. And um, yeah, and it's gonna be based off of that. So you have different things. And But another thing that I wanna tell you about a whole life policy, a whole life policy is a good thing because it builds cash value. That's something that your term policy doesn't do. But your whole life policy and the younger you are getting that, remember what I just said, the policy premium will never change. So the younger you are, although it may be a lot more expensive, the more that you're able to build a cash pocket. You, may, you have an extra pocket there that you are able to borrow from tax-free, right? So this is what I'm telling you. So there's a two difference. Both policies work for the benefit of you. It's just where you at and what's important to you at that time. Once that 30 year policy um, term ends, then you will probably go into a whole life policy. But remember the term policy builds no cash pocket. You, although you may be able to get uh, what is called riders in both types of policies. And those riders have critical and chronic health benefits. So if anything is triggered, such as heart attack, stroke, cancer, you're able to accelerate 
a portion, a portion of that death benefit to protect your family and to protect your income. So I hope this answered your question. This is your girl, Charlie. If you ever need my help, my number is 702-570-1233. I work from home. I work online. I've been doing this for the last 10 years. My husband died unexpectedly after a movie and a dinner date, and I didn't know anything about insurance. I had a little small policy, but I didn't know. I, we didn't have what I thought we should have had. And it actually, it was some other things, but we'll talk about that. So give me a call or I put a link in the box below. You can get on my calendar and 15 minutes of your time is all we need to design a step to a better way for you and your family. All right. Take care. Talk soon. Stay safe.